Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, a couple days ago, me and Cookie went down to Devon in search for quite a special animal here in the UK, which was the Eurasian beaver, which actually has been extinct here for about 400 years in the wild. And down on the River Otter, there is a small population of them which kind of just appeared out of nowhere. And so we went down to visit them and get some nice footage for you guys. But throughout the day on our journey, we saw some other awesome animals, including black swans, a uh, range of cool little ducks in this like Avery kind of thing. And we did go in search of some spoonbills, but to no luck. So let's have a look and see what footage and just what wildlife we saw on our trip down to Devon. But before I go any further, why not leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow me along on my wildlife adventures in the UK and well, hopefully soon, abroad. But yeah, let's carry on and see what footage I managed to get across the day on my trip in Devon. So, to start off our day down in Devon, we went in search of some spoonbills, which can be found in the UK but are quite an unusual bird really. And well, I've never seen them in the wild here, so if we did find them, it would have been quite cool for me. But we thought our best port of call to find them was along the mouth of the River X, down near Exmouth. And so we went looking along a couple of different reserves there in like the marshes, which, well, one of them we did take a wrong turn and ended up in the middle of some farmer's fields, <laughs> which probably didn't help with our search. But no, yeah, so we searched along the marshes, along the edges of the, the River X, along the estuary there but to no luck as, well, we didn't manage to find any spoonbills there. But we had seen reports that they'd been spotted there a few days before, and so we thought we were in luck, but didn't actually find them. And then from there, we went over to Dawlish, which, well, if you know anything about Dawlish, it's the home of the black swans, which natively are from Australia, but can be found across certain areas of the UK, and especially in Dawlish, which it's made famous because of their black swans that they have there and well we had obviously a lot more luck there because as soon as we got there we bumped into a whole group of them and so we sat chilling with them for a while and so let's roll the black swan footage What are you doing? Doing the swans. And then, after spending some time chilling out with these black swans in Dawlish, we went to the highlight of the day, which, well, it was our main aim of going down to Devon anyway, and that is going to find the Eurasian beavers. Now, to do this, we went to an area along the River Otter, which is where pretty much is the only wild population in England where you can find beavers. And as I said in the beginning, these have been extinct in the wild here for about 400 years, but then these guys kind of just popped up out of nowhere in like the early 2000s. We headed down and Cookie, he had seen, he had been there to see them before, so he knew where their lodge was. So we went straight there, set everything up and sat waiting. And we were waiting for a decent amount of time, probably three and a half, four hours we sat waiting there for them to show up. And knowing my luck, we saw some branches floating down from further upstream. So I decided to run up and see if it was a beaver like chewing on branches and stuff and then they're flowing down from its activity and well it wasn't it was two guys that just trimming some willow trees further up the river and then throwing branches in so they just floated away to get rid of them and then i get back to the others and i'm told while i was gone 
They saw a beaver. Uh, what happened there, mate? What? Well, a branch was floating down, so I went upstream to try and find what was causing it. I come back, you said you see a beaver. Perfectly happy. That was wicked. That was class, wasn't it? I'm hating life right now. <laughs> We've been well, here I've like... I've been waiting like three and a half hours to see that. <laughs> and I missed it. Yeah. Three and a half hours, he goes down the river to see if like he can see anything because like twigs are floating past with leaves on it, which is a, it's a clear sign of beavers. But um, literally in that moment, we see a beaver wrestle a branch to get his food and he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been more annoyed. <laughs> I've been sat there for like four hours only to miss it. But luckily, about five minutes after I got back, one did show up again, and that was the first time I had ever actually seen a beaver in person in captivity or the wild. So it was a pretty special moment for me, and one that I probably will never forget because they are such an amazing animal to see. And then after a while of waiting again, he didn't pop up, he was gone. So we decided to go and walk further downstream to have a look in different areas. And we saw this big crowd gathered in one area. So we're like, yeah, the beaver's there. <laughs> and so we rushed down, set up, and we managed to capture these awesome clips.